kit let out more string, and the kite climbed higher and higher until a sharp gust of wind hit the kite and knocked it down. It's stuck! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Our kite is stuck and I never got a turn! <laughs> I'm sad too, Kate! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> You know, if I calm down, I'm sure I can figure out how to get the kite down. I got it! That didn't work! <laughs> the kite is stuck up there forever! No, we'll get it down, Kate. And if I could just stop crying, I bet I can think of a way. I, I got it! Hey, Mr. Bear, if you lift me, maybe I can reach the kite. Good idea. I got it. Yeah. That didn't work either. You have to get our kite down. <laughs> my ears, my ears, my ears. Stop crying, Kate. No, not until you get that kite down. Please, Kate, I can't even hear myself think. <laughs> Kate, your crying isn't helping at all. In fact, Kate's crying was making things worse, a lot worse. Kate cried so hard that her tears flooded Gusty Gulch. Now we'll never get that kite out of the tree. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Goodness, little one, you've cried a whole lake here. What's wrong? Our kite got stuck in that tree. And that's why you're crying? Because it made you sad? Yeah. I was crying at first, too. Of course, we all cry sometimes when we're sad. But Kate wouldn't stop. Why wouldn't you stop? Because they couldn't get the kite down. And why didn't you help get it down? Because I was crying. Wait, now I understand. It's all right to cry if you're sad or hurt, but when a problem needs solving, you need to calm down so you can think of what to do. <laughs> <laughs>